Hey, welcome back to this channel. And today we're going to talk about how I trade without losing money. So one thing I want you to note before we get started, here's a popular quote by Robert Arnaud that says, in investing, what is comfortable is rarely profitable. So kind of keep that in the back of your mind as you go through your trading journey. You have to overcome those fears in order to be profitable. And we'll talk more about that at the end of this video so make sure you stick around because i'm going to give a lot of tips in terms of how i dealt with fear in the markets and how you can as well so getting started one thing you could do is start with one market to use this strategy i'm getting ready to talk about on mainly because it's going to be the simplest in terms of you getting familiar with one market now if you currently trade more than one market you know, feel free to do that. But I found that it was much simpler to start with one market. I did it with gold and a whole bunch of other markets that I'll be talking about shortly. So if you're trying to figure out what to trade, then go ahead and check out this video, how I figured out what to trade and made money fast, where I literally talk about everything that I've tried to trade, the pros and cons of those things, and some thoughts about those markets in terms of what's easy, what's harder. So go ahead and check it out. It's a super popular video on this channel right now, and it's definitely going to help you if you haven't already watched it. So go ahead and check it out. And here is the uh, core of what we're gonna talk about today. Let me make this a little bit smaller and all of that. So uh, basically, we're gonna talk about the benefit to you what to do, the pros and cons. So this is based off of all of my experience in the market and the things that I've tried in order to become a profitable trader over almost like two and a half, almost three years at this point, and even earlier if you count some of the investing that I did back in 2011. So basically, we're gonna start with a thing that has some benefit to you. So what to do, watch others. So you're watching this video right now, it's actually a really great start. And the pro is obviously you're not losing any money, you're obviously learning. So that's gonna be a really big key in your trading journey. And then of course, the con is there's nothing like doing it yourself, even if you're scared. So of course you have to start somewhere, you have to learn from somebody that's already doing the thing that you want to do. So watching others is going to help you in the beginning, but just know that over time, you cannot just be watching others. You have to eventually take action. And we're gonna talk about how you can do that easily in this video, so keep watching. So the next thing to do is to paper trade. And basically what this means to me is basically looking at a market and seeing, well, I think this is gonna go up. And if it goes up, you're like, hey, awesome, it went up. And then you kind of go back and investigate, well, why did it go up? Or you'll say, hey, I think this is going to go down. And if it doesn't go, to, go down, then you try to figure out, well, why didn't it go down? So that's pretty much what I do when I paper trade. Basically for me, that is a mental trade. I'm not doing anything, just looking at the market and trying to pretty much guess where the market is going. And of course the pro is there's no money lost. You're learning even more this time. And you're also building your bias, especially if you're focusing on just one market. So the con is obviously not in the market, so you're not making money, but the pro is you're not losing money. So just basically keep that in mind. And the next thing is a demo account. So if you've been searching on the interwebs at this point, you probably have heard of a demo account, probably don't know where to find one, but this is where you can find one. So when it comes to a demo account, I started off with TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform and basically this was my intro to trading. I think I only took maybe one or two demo trades and it was, you know, pretty interesting at the time. Charles Schwab purchased them a while back. So basically everything will be switching over to Charles Schwab, but they'll still keep this thinkorswim platform for what I understand. And basically when you download the desktop version, you will have this login, but then at the bottom, there will be this live trading, which is what I normally do because I also trade options. And then you'll have this paper version where just, where it's basically you can demo trade in Charles Schwab. So let me just switch over. So basically this is where you would go, Charles Schwab, uh, Thinkorswim, 
platforms and this looks nice and new. Uh, what I'm currently on, at least the version of Thinkorswim does not look this way. Maybe it'll look like this eventually, but you can see you can toggle between live and paper money, which is actually pretty interesting. So uh, that's definitely something you can do. Let's see, there we go. <laughs> and so there is that. And one of the pros, of course, is no actual money lost, but you're learning even more at this point, mainly because you're actively in the market. And oh, one other thing I forgot to say, there are other demo accounts. There's MetaTrader where they have a demo account that you can set up your broker depending on who it is. There's so many brokers out there. If you're looking for a broker, I did make a video on this channel talking about how to choose the best broker for you. And they may have a demo account that you could uh, trade on just like I trade at times with TD Ameritrade slash Charles Schwab at this point. So go ahead and check those out. See if they got it. It's totally free most times because you're a client of theirs. So it's kind of an extra incentive for you to sign up. Um, it is free, I believe, or maybe you have to put in a few hundred bucks for TD Ameritrade slash Charles Schwab, but basically it's, it's basically nothing. So that's a route. And another pro is that if you're funded or looking to get funded, then funded accounts use demo accounts. And typically on the con side, once again, not in a money, not in a market, so you're not making money. And the biggest con for me when it comes to demo is basically it takes a long time because you you typically cannot speed up the time. And I'll show you what I mean in the next bullet point. But basically, you're trading in real time. So say for instance, you enter a trade at 10 o'clock a.m. and you're waiting for your trade to play out. You have to wait every single minute, every single hour, however long for your trade to play out in order for you to see if it worked, even if it's on demo. So that's the thing I really don't like about demo. However, if you are funded, I do have one funded account currently trying to add more, but basically uh, with funded accounts, uh, you can lose money, especially if you get to a point where you're in profit and you take a trade that doesn't work out, you could be out of profit. That's really the only con, but typically it kind of goes back to your learning. And if you're at the point where you're funded, um, you typically have better uh, risk management and all of that to even get to the funded phase. So congratulations to you for that. So let's go to simulation. So this is actually one of my favorite ways to test out the market. And pretty much there's trading view where they have the playback feature. And typically, depending on what tier you're on, you're going to be paying some money for that. The other way is soft for FX. <laughs> it's a weird name to say, but basically it is one of my favorite, favorite simulators. I know that there's others out there, but I haven't really used them. I've only used this one and you can see that they do have a free demo mode. I did test it out before I purchased it. I think it's something like a hundred bucks and just know these people are not paying me. It's just a software that I really like to use. I did use this a lot when I was testing out the gold market and there's another market that I'm looking at, uh, US 30 specifically. I've been testing it out on TradingView, but I want to go inside of this simulator and test it out to see um, if it's going to be a good uh, fit for me. Now, the one thing I have not checked was, <laughs> is it on here? But basically, if you scroll down, you could see you know, all the different features of it. And I believe there is a way uh, that you could see what is on it. So it's been a while since I've been to this, but it's something like $100 and it's pretty cool. So it's one of my favorite ways. And the other thing that I am looking into is in Tradezilla. Basically, they're incorporating this backtesting uh, beta area where you can simulate trades, you can watch videos, see if you like it, it's probably on YouTube. And I do use Tradezella's journal, so if you want to check that out, you can go ahead and click and click the link inside of the description box below in order to test that out. But I really like the software and I'm excited about all the features that they've incorporated inside of the backtesting software, so go ahead and check this out if you're interested in that.
So going back, uh, some of the pros, obviously no money lost, but you're learning even more at this time. So this whole journey is going to be about learning. You're going to be learning at every step of your journey. So definitely embrace that vibe. And the one other thing that I really love about uh, simulation trading is basically you can backtest a couple of weeks of price action in just one or two hours. So earlier where I talked about demo mode, where basically you can't speed up the time, this is what I'm talking about. Especially in, I know for sure in TradingView, the playback feature, you can speed it up. I know for sure in Soft F or Soft or FX software that you could speed up the time. And then in Tradezilla, what I saw so far, you have the opportunity to speed up the time. So basically it just gives you a lot more data to play with and you can back test an entire week of trading in just an hour or two. And that will give you a lot more reps, which obviously increases your learning even more. So once again, not in the market, so you're not making money, but you're also not losing. So it works out. So one of my favorite, favorite ways to trade. So this does involve some money, but it does involve a small amount of money. And basically this increases your learning, your life. And one of the key things here is you get all of the emotions and the feelings of actually placing a trade into the market and seeing it play out. Yes, you have to wait because it's a live real market, but you get the emotions of taking a trade. And of course, as you do something over and over and over again, you get a lot more comfortable. So this is why I think that this, a low amount of money, I think I put $100 in one of these trading accounts. And I'm gonna show you in a second what that looked like, but basically it's, a really good way to get comfortable with taking trades inside of the market. And yes, there's a the potential to lose money. Losing is a part of the game, but you're using a low amount of money. So as long as it's not like the rent or car note or something like that, just basically money that is insignificant to you, you can put it into account, an account and then trade that. That is exactly what I did. And then um, one of the things is that when you, do make a profit. So say it's like, you know, 50 cents, you're like, oh, it's like just 50 cents. So at least that was me, maybe you're different, but um, I was like, I'm ready for big money. <laughs> so I wanted to jump into, you know, doing larger lots on these accounts and making a lot more money. So here is an example of a trade that I took on the S&P 500. So this was the ticker symbol inside of the broker that I was using for this. This was, I wanna say about a year ago. I am on the one minute time frame in this situation. I don't recommend that, but uh, if that's your thing, go ahead and go for it. But as you can see, I took a buy of a 0.01 lot. And basically what I was doing here was I purchased somewhere in here, price just took off, and then I was trailing my stop loss just so that way I could continue to capture the profits. So if you're trying to figure out, well, what is a lot size? So this is a table from Investopedia. It's one of my favorite websites when I'm trying to get definitions of things. But uh, really, when it comes to trading Forex or currencies or indices, uh, typically they use lot sizes. So a standard is a thousand units, a mini is 10,000 units, and micro is a thousand, nano is a hundred. So if we look up here, you can see that I purchased a 0.01 lot, and that would translate to, this would translate to a one, two, uh, to a micro lot. And that's basically what I was doing there when I was moving my cursor over is I was starting at the decimal or starting at the comma and then moving the decimal place over twice. So one, two, and then that would be a 0 0.01 lot. So I was trading a micro lot and some brokers, depending on your broker, will allow you to trade this micro lot here. So that's why I like, and this was one of those unregulated, well, non US regulated brokers that allow me to do that. So I do, so there are pros and cons to that. Like I said, go ahead and figure out which broker is for you. But um, this is basically um, how it works. 
And here's another example. So this was on GJ, which is the British pound versus the Japanese yen. Once again, uh, this was a screenshot from sometime last year. Let's see, like last July. So once again, I sold in this situation where I did a 0 0.01 lot. I saw a setup, price was set selling off. I waited for a pullback and for a good entry signal and basically took the sell. Um, in this area, I was probably targeting probably targeting these lows down here. I don't really remember. This was a while ago, but as you can see, at this point, this this is in profit. So this is a great way to test the live market, like I said, with a tiny, tiny amount. And especially if you're looking at currency pairs, it's not going to cost hardly anything in order for you to get into the live market. So this is something that has worked for me and it could possibly work for you as well. So basically some advice that I gave to myself is it's okay to lose money. It's not that big of a deal in trading. So basically given this some context here, I kind of use this as kind of an affirmation. I'm the type of person where I really like to incorporate positivity and just always thinking positive. So very optimistic person. And it's definitely something that you have to have in trading. And <laughs> so uh, at least that's my belief. So this is something that I would say to myself all the time. And I still do say it to myself. I actually have this written on a card in front of my computer that I use to trade on just to kind of remind myself daily. So another thing about trading is that it is all about possibilities and you're always looking for your edge. So if depending on your trading style, uh, you're always looking for your edge. You're always looking for that thing that's going to give you a higher chance of gaining in the market and you just have to focus on that. So basically you find that by keep testing, learning and finding out what works for you, your trading style, your lifestyle, your personality, all of that, and you should be good. So if you love this video, go ahead and give this video a like and please subscribe to this channel so that way I can continue to make more content to reach more people and also help you on your trading journey and I'll see you next time.